As we went through our search process and interviewed people, not only did we find comments like, you'd be crazy not to hire this man, but his respect is universal throughout the country as not only a person deeply knowledgeable about opera, which was very important for us, but also an incredibly capable manager, a wonderful person for dealing with people, a huge understanding of art and the challenges that we have in, in the art community today. So in any event, this second most important event in our history is beginning and it'll be an exciting beginning. And we're thrilled to have you here, Wayne. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. And thank you to members of the search committee who, to uh, a group with whom I've become quite familiar. Um, it was really quite an experience, and what a joy it is for me to return to Detroit, where my career began. On my way to Detroit yesterday afternoon uh, from Washington, I read about the news associated with Doug Fister's departure from the Detroit Tigers to join the Washington Nationals. <laughs> Let the record show that in my case, I am leaving Washington to return to Detroit. <laughs> this is where my career first began in arts administration, as Rick pointed out, at the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, at a time when David DiChiara had just launched a few years earlier the beginnings of Michigan Opera Theater. And along the way, I've had a chance to observe the journey that he's led, and it's just been incredible. I'm excited about my return to the city to work with David, the board, the staff of Michigan Opera Theater, as together we develop a plan for the future. When I left Detroit some years ago, opera in Detroit was an, an emerging entity seeking solid footing within the community. Over the years, it's been my pleasure to observe from afar how it has evolved into one of America's major league players among opera companies. This is largely due to David DiChiara. All aspects of opera in the region and how opera has evolved in communities throughout the country, a result of his leadership. David DiChiara is the Pied Piper of opera in America. As a strong believer of collaboration and strategic alliances, I also look forward to working closely with Ann Parsons and Leonard Slatkin at the DSO and Graham Beale at the DIA in continuing the effort for the arts to become part of this resurgence in Detroit that is so vitally needed. Likewise, since I know both, uh, I know all three uh, of those I've just referenced, I'm anxious now to, to become better familiar, better acquainted with other arts organizations and other leaders. So together we can uh, make sure that we can create a compelling case to convey the spirit, the resurgent uh, that we all embrace, that we celebrate, and we look forward to being able to enjoy once again. I've observed opera programs nationwide I've seen how they've evolved, I've seen the struggles, I've seen how arts organizations try to cope with the various cycles, the highs and the lows. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's not so much about what was the latest result of the physical activity, how many people attended a particular event, 
It has more to do what was the lasting impression of the, ex of the art experience. And one of the things we hope to do together here within the Michigan Opera Theater organization and within the community and working with other partners is to make sure that we invest the kind of time and energy that talks about vision, imagination, possibilities, uh, generating the kind of spirit that we want to make sure that our audiences enjoy as a result of one of our performances or exhibits. And we can do that. Detroit is, for a long time, has represented a can-do spirit among all of its residents. My role is to make sure that I can catch up with all of you and together to continue the important work that David DeChiara launched so many years ago. He's given us a challenge. He's given us an opportunity. I accept that challenge in working with all of you.